forgot my freaking soda. Hold on a second. Did I just spill soda on myself? Absolutely. We're gonna move forward. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day, night, whatever, wherever you guys are. I'm Sierra and welcome to my channel. Okay, so here's where I'm out of breath. For one, I am doing this video super fast because both of my kids are taking naps. However, I do feel that the youngest one is about to wake up and it's got me kind of pressed. Secondly, I don't care if you guys try to clock me, I did not have time to glue down my wig. Let me explain to you why. I have a set of Irish twins, do you know what that is? If you don't know what that is, that means that I gave birth twice, twice within 13 months or less, okay? That's what Irish twins are, okay? Um, wow, and it is intense. So anybody who's a mother out there, you understand. So it's just what it is. Hey, I told you on the channel I'm gonna be real with you, and that's what's going on. I've already done my eyebrows with my handy dandy ColourPop pencil in dark brown. It's the Brow Boss pencil. They also have the precision. I use both of them, but this time I use Brow Boss in dark brown to do my eyebrows. They're not totally done yet because I haven't cleaned them up. But what I am going to use to clean them up is the star of the show today, which is the Hold It Steady Sierra and Don't Be a Weirdo. Okay, so it's the Screen Queen foundation in the shade 430 and this is by Milani. So this is pretty new to Milani's uh, collection. It says it's digital blue light filter on it. That's cool. Okay, whatever. Luminous natural finish, buildable light to medium coverage and long wear. It doesn't say how long the wear is, but it says it's long wear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good shot. I think I'll leave it on for We'll say eight hours. I think that's good. I think that's a, a fair wear test. Do you want to do 10? I could do 10. I mean, I could do 12. I mean, I could do whatever you guys want, but you guys can't give me any feedback because you guys are not here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the final decision and I'm gonna say I'm gonna wear it for a solid 10 hours. 10 hours because I feel that the average person goes to work for eight hours, right? And you've got to commute to and from your job. I think that 10 hours is a good average. So let's stop talking because I don't have time. I'm letting you know that right now. I don't have time. I don't have time. Hopefully this wig doesn't just fall off. And if it does, you know what? It'll be a good blooper and you'll see that at the end of the video. Because I make all things work, okay? You just gotta make it work. <laughs> Let me just shape up these eyebrows real quick with the foundation and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, like every little, anytime I touch my face, I get red. Like it doesn't matter if I just touch it like, like, like I get red. Like what, what just happened right here? Why do I have that right now? It's so annoying. Pause. This was the closest color that they had at Ulta to my complexion. Does this not to you? Look orange. You probably can't tell on camera. Can you? Because in my real life, by the way, I'm priming with the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. In my real life, oh, Sierra. Okay, go ahead. In my real life, I feel like this looks orange. But maybe it's just me. I like this. Primer, by the way, it is nice and it's very hydrating. And right now, I have very dry skin, and I've never had dry skin ever. I'm gonna let that sit for a bit, are we? We don't have time to let it sit, so there's that. We don't have time to let it sit, okay? Next up is the foundation itself, right. So I'm gonna squirt it right here on this. Honestly, I know you guys are probably like, why do you squirt it on this? And it's because I have a glass palette, you know, that you're supposed to use to, to squirt. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I don't know where it is and I don't have time to find it. So I've been literally using this for the past like week because I just don't have the time to find it. Okay, so judge me if you want or just try not to judge me because I'm doing my best, okay? It works, it does what it's supposed to do. And squirt, squirt, squirt. I'm gonna use the Tati Beauty Blendiful. This side was a whole different foundation, so we're not gonna use that side. But I'm gonna use this side right here because this covers so much space and you get your foundation done in about five seconds. And that's what I need right now. Look at that, guys. So that's an eyelash stuck to the back of this mirror. Ooh, cha. <laughs> Hear that? You hear that? Yep, that's what I was afraid of. All right guys, she's back with the baby. Do you guys wanna see this? No, you don't. He's actually the sweetest baby in the entire world. I used this concealer brush to carve out my brows with the same foundation it definitely has more coverage like around my brows when I use the Tati Beauty to blend everything out you can you could see that my eyebrows here have way more coverage so my guess is that if you use a brush you would get more coverage out of this foundation I don't have very problematic skin at the moment so I don't need a ton of coverage it does say that it's a buildable light to medium coverage and I agree with that I have a spot right here and if this ah. spot is covered then I know that it's medium to full or pretty much full coverage and that's pretty much how I gauge it so yeah this is definitely light to medium uh, I do think that the color for me when I look at it in the monitor, I really can't see it. But when I look at it in person, it does seem a little bit orange, but it's not too bad. I love this puff for foundation. This is the Tati Beauty Blendiful, and it's $18. It comes with this one. And it comes with this one as well. So I would definitely pick it up because for foundation, it's beautiful. We're doing a drugstore foundation. Let's do a drugstore concealer. So I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade T300. Okay, time to blend. Anybody else make really ugly blending faces? Okay, so we are blended with the CoverGirl concealer. I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on the concealer real quick. Um, I do like the coverage. I think it feels to me to be a medium to full coverage concealer. It's not a first impression as far as the concealer goes. I really do like it. I love the doe foot applicator. I love this. Look, look how big that thing is. Um, but here's what happens with me, and I don't know, it just could be me. When I try to build it up underneath my eyes, it will, if I let it dry too long, it will pull the first layer of concealer up. Does that make sense? I don't know if other people have had this issue with the CoverGirl concealer, but that's just me, so I just stopped doing that because it once it happens it's wrap like it's over you you can't fix it it it's you can't i've tried and i've had to take off all of my makeup and redo it because i let it sit too long underneath my eyes he has so much to say he has so much to say and as soon as i stop talking he stops talking if i start to watch right <laughs> oh man anyway I'm gonna set this real quick I'm gonna use Tati blendable again you see that you see that right you guys see are you trying to 
<laughs> man. You want to let them know about the concealer? Let them know. <laughs> He's funny, man. So let's just stay in, in Milaniville. I'm going to use the translucent banana make it last setting powder. And we're going to do this real quick. Yeah. Okay, guys, I am set. I'm going to do a quick little eye look real quick and I'll be back because you're not here for the eye look, you're here for the foundation, aren't you? I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I felt like you guys were really far away and I was just like, mm, you might wanna be closer. Okay, so I used the Sienna's palette um, and I did something super quick, it, just whatever. And, but I wanted you to see this, if you guys are gonna buy this. It is a little dusty, okay? So if I go in, let me just make sure I'm set up right. I go in with this color right here. You see how dusty it is? Now, that doesn't really bother me, but for anybody who's like, fall out, I can't, you know, you might not wanna get this palette. Uh, it blends out beautifully though. The colors are great. It's only $10, so I mean, come on, you know? What I wanted to try again though was the Lash Paradise. I tried it in my previous video or maybe the video before that. Don't know how I'm gonna upload these, but I tried it and I hated it. And what's crazy about it is that I've used the Lash Paradise before and I loved it. But I got it um, in a two pack and it had the primer and the mascara so i was like oh that's kind of cool maybe this will make me have longer lashes because a girl doesn't have any lashes and it was terrible i hated it i hated it i hated it so i thought let me give it one more shot and let me actually use just the mascara not touch that primer because I used to love Lash Paradise. It was like the dupe for better than a sex mascara from Too Faced. However, I cannot find it right now, so give me one second and let me try to find this real quick. See, there you go. Okay, so it has to be that primer. Weird. That primer sucks. Okay guys, like, it was the primer. Because now that I'm using it again, I like it again. Do I like it as much as the Essence? Because we're talking about just drugstore. We're not, we're not gonna delve into higher end mascaras. We're gonna stay right in drugstore zone. And do I like this better than the Essence? Princess Lash, the green one or the purple one? I like it better than the purple one, but not better than the green one. I don't have any eyelashes, so... But we're gonna fix that problem right now by putting on lashes. I'm gonna go in with these Ardell Naturals in 110. These are so natural. And it looks like we're doing really natural today, so... I think... These are like... What Jackie Ina's and Ellie Glines. Jackie Ina and Ellie Glines have literally the best lashes on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says, they have the best freaking lashes. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna run down the other products that I did use real quick just to get this basic ass look. I used my Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Creamy Bronze, just bronze on my face a little bit. I then use my Blush Bazaar by Tarte, it's right here. I use the shades Angelic and Fortunate, which are these two right here. I then set it all with the MAC Fix Plus in Lavender. Um, this was, my intention at first was for it to be a uh, wear test, but I just have a feeling that like, how this day is gonna go, I am not gonna have time to jump back on here and give you an actual full wear test. So it just doesn't look like that's gonna happen and I don't wanna end up promising something that I cannot deliver. Right off the bat is that this is a light to medium. I think we already said this. Um, if you have anything crazy on your face, I would not go ahead and get this product because I don't think that it's really gonna give you the coverage that you really need. 
Um, as far as the way it feels in my skin, it feels very light. I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of foundation on my skin. Um, it, it's very wearable. It feels very comfortable. Is it going to crease on me? Well, everything creases under my under eyes, but is this going to crease on me here? I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna have to pin that down below and let you know if it did crease on me. Um, but we're gonna pray for the best and hope that it doesn't because we don't want it to crease. The shade, I initially thought it was a little bit too orange, but once I did everything else, it kind of, it works. So if you're using me as a shade reference, it is 430 Tony. 20, that was so New York. I'm definitely a New Yorker. I don't have any problems with it. I like it. I think it's a good day-to-day -day foundation so far. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys so much. I know this video is a little bit scatterbrained, and it's mainly because I cannot focus and do a video with this baby crawling all over the floor and just acting himself. You know, he's a baby. He doesn't know anything. So he's actually underneath my desk right now crawling around and I'm like, I'm trying to focus. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much, bye. How long was that hair there? Why is there always hair on my chest? Why? You're so beautiful. Dang. No. <laughs> I know. Ooh wee boy. So let's just stay in the like Milani zone. I'm gonna use the trans Milani translucent banana. Make it last. Oh, gosh, my kid is eating. No, you can't have it. You can't eat. Sorry.